Hey guys, we're doing an 89 part series on the 89 chapters in the four gospels series title is This is Love. The question is, what is love? And through the life and the teachings of Jesus, we are discovering what love is. We're in Matthew 18, and in this chapter, we discover that love rejoices more over the one than the 99. Jesus tells a parable many of us have heard about a shepherd who's got a hundred sheep, but one of those sheep wanders away. And the shepherd chooses to leave the 99 to go find the one. And if it just stopped there, I don't know, that would make sense. Maybe the shepherd's got a buddy that's shepherding with him. And he says, hey, you watch the 99, I'm gonna go find the one. And that would make sense. And still, as the one, I would feel loved that the shepherd decided to come after me. But Jesus doesn't stop there. He decides to make it a point to say that when the shepherd finds the one, he rejoices more over that one than over the 99. Why? Well, I believe Jesus is giving us an insight into what love is all about. Love has a special pull on it that is all about the one who is lost, is all about the one who does not know their value and their worth, their identity, why they're here, who they are, and they just, they might literally be lost uh, in life. Like, you know, what am I gonna do with my life? Have I missed out on a lot of things in life? But even if life looks okay on the outside, inside they're going, I feel lost. I feel unloved. I don't know why I'm here. And Jesus says, when love engages with the one that feels lost, right? when love encounters that feeling in somebody, love rejoices more than the ones who never really felt that loss. Why? Because love's purpose is to fill, is to give worth, to give value, to state identity. Your identity is that God loves you. What a wonderful thing to know about God. And what a wonderful thing to know about our own calling because love lives in us. And so love's tug on, if love lives in us, right? Then love's tug on us. What we should experience every day is a tug towards those who don't feel valued. You don't, they don't know their own worth, right? They don't know their identity. They don't experience and know and receive and feel filled by love. We can go with our big, you know, just imagine yourself as this, as this um, teapot, I don't know, something, and you're full of love and you can't run out. So when you pour out, you just keep being full anyway. And you go and you seek those people like a heat seeking missile, like a shepherd looking for an unloved sheep. And you say, I've got love in spades and love's desire in me more than anything is to love the ones who don't feel loved and don't know who they are. And when those people are loved, they go, oh, I know who I am. I know why I was created. I was created to be loved and to love.